The Chlamydomonas renhardii is an unicellular green alga. This is one flagellum of Chlamydomonas renhardii. Inside each flagellum of Chlamydomonas renhardii, intraflagellar transport or IFT occurs. This is the plasma membrane of a flagellum. These are the outer doublet microtubules present in the flagellum. This is the central microtubule of the flagellum. IFT particles are transported between the plasma membrane and the outer doublet microtubules. Transport of IFT particles to the tube is dependent on kinesin 2. This movement of IFT particles to the tip is called as anterograde movement. The IFT particles are moving at a constant speed of almost equal to 2.5 micrometer per second toward the tip of flagellum. During anterograde movement, cytoplasmic dynein is carried as cargo to the tip on anterograde moving IFT particles. Transport of IFT particles towards the base is dependent on cytoplasmic dynein. This movement of IFT particles from the tip to the base is called as retrograde movement. The IFT particles are moving at a speed of almost equal to 4 micrometer per second from the tip to the base of the flagellum. During retrograde movement, kinesin 2 is carried as cargo to the base on retrograde moving IFT particles. Now, the function of IFT. IFT transports new material like tubulin subunits to the tip of flagellum for growth. Now, some important points. The IFT occurs on both cilia and flagella. The IFT is a continuously occurring process. IFT particles are absent from the genomes of yeast and plants that lack cilia. It suggests that IFT particles are specific to intraflagellar transport or IFT. The IFT particles on Chlamydomonas flagella have homologs present in organisms containing cilia such as nematodes, fruit flies, mice, and humans. Please like, subscribe, and share.